Hi guys, thanks very much for watching my videos. Welcome to The Great Apostate. I hope you like it and share it and subscribe it and just generally watch it. Keeps me amused anyway. Uh, as you know, I like bringing up to uh, bring into light the false prophecy and the stupidity of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, people give off to me and complain and say, ah, but you don't do it for everyone, do you? No, I don't. I don't because I don't care about those ones. I was a Jehovah's Witness and uh, this is what you get. Sorry, you made me an evangelizer and I will now come back and evangelize to you whether you like it or not, through the medium of YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, uh, one of the things I love to do, and I think this video, uh, this video is going to be such proof that uh, you just can't stop doing these things. You can't, because they need to be done. They need to be done time and time again, uh, because Jehovah's Witnesses still don't know the truth, okay? And this is going to prove it once and again. As you know, I love to uh, mock the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, with a bit of love, uh, whenever they say dumb stuff. And I'm going to do it today. And this comment comes from the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses Worldwide. I'm going to read some of the comments below. The first comment from the narrator is, I've yet to meet or to see a religious organization that is tra is transparent as ours. Okay. All our publications, meetings, assembly, convention programs, and venues are open to the public scrutiny. Such material and programs all available to anyone to search and see. Isn't that what you expect from God's organization? Now, little bit of bookkeeping on this. Uh, all our publications, that's not true. There is uh, branch manuals, there's elders books, there's circuit overseers manuals. Uh, they're all to be completely hidden and never shown to the public. Uh, never even shown to the faithful. Don't get to see those either. Uh, you all know that. If you're an elder, you're watching that, you know that's true. Uh, so that comment is a lie. Okay, maybe it's a well-meaning lie, but it's still a lie. Uh, the guy says, wouldn't you expect that from Jehovah's Organization? Well, from the God's organization, rather. Yes, well, I've come to expect a lot from Jehovah's Witnesses, and uh, lies is one of the things. Now, uh, you'll notice tons of Africans uh, in these comments uh, because the Jehovah's Witnesses are really pushing to get uh, more minorities in. They're not minorities in their own country, obviously, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, keep it up is the first comment. I love that everyone is equal in our organization. No one is superior than the other in gender, race, in title, or title, says Label Nedbadada. Now, Label Nedbadada must be new here because that's bullshit. That is just bullshit. And somebody has written, women can be elders, circuit overseers, governing body. Uh, no, she says, but elders can't act superior than anyone. They are humble and actually act to serve. That is the point. And then the girl comes back and says, that's not been my experience. <laughs> it's absolutely true. Who ever met a humble elder? There's some humble elders, there's some nice elders, but you see when you scratch beneath the surface, They've got to have that authoritarian thing. They've got to be able to just say, hey, you, stop doing that. Because that's the way the whole thing is based on. It's based on power. It's based on me telling you what to do. So even if they're humble guys, they're either weak, who'll just be walked over, uh, and therefore they're not really elders, or they're, they've got to have that asshole underneath, even if they're pretending to be nice. And that's just the way it is. It's a bit like uh, a prison officer. You know, at the ult ultimately, at some point, you've got to blow your whistle and say, stop climbing over the fence. And that's what the elders are. They, you know, they are your prison guards as well as your friends. Now, I love that uh, she thinks that uh, elders have to be nice. So sweet. Anyway, as if that makes it better. <laughs> Very true, says Deborah. Cousin Kendall Strother. How you, how you called that? Suzanne Whitehead. I was just talking to an elderly sister about this. And we both agreed that unlike other faiths, our society, at least, at least when they have interpreted a scripture wrong, they are not slow in admitting it. And that has to be admired. Yeah, it only took about two decades for them to admit that the 1975 teaching was complete and utter bullshit. More so true, spot ons, I totally agree with you. Yes, and if you want a Bible, it's free to them and easy to understand. That's because it's wrong. <laughs> Nancy Highland says, Remind me of, reminds me of Isaiah's chariot platform. Clear as crystal, can see right through to Jehovah's heavenly organization. Well, you can see right through the Jehovah's Witnesses, you can. And it's not very good, unfortunately. Uh, you Jehovah Wambutho, I love this man. Aye, says Lulama Kayama or Kazama Lapi. I'm not even going to slag you off. That's probably mostly Swahili and it's kind of cool. Shara Lee Oliver says, that's because Jehovah is a God of order. What I love is that we are a united worldwide brotherhood and truly display our desire to serve Jehovah in the way he wants Seeking his approval only, not ours or that of our fellow brothers and sisters, only Jehovah's. That's true worship. I am so proud to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses. 
What a true privilege to have accurate knowledge of truth. Oh, I mean, where to begin? You don't have accurate knowledge of truth. You don't display your love and desire to serve Jehovah in the way he wants and seeking his approval only. You have to get the approval of the society, of the governing body and of your elders and of your circuit overseer. And that's just true. You know it's to be true. Okay, well, here's one. JW.org will tell you everything you want to know about us again, but except our secret books. We are united worldwide. We all believe exactly the same thing and study all our material the same way, no matter what nationality. We would never go to war and kill our brothers and sisters. No, because you kill enough of them by not giving them blood transfusions. Exactly, says Tammy Taylor. What a stark difference from Christendom's religions. The Watchtower study yesterday was just amazing. I missed it. <laughs> Dear me, mind of the unbelievers is blind. Is it? Don't know. While studying with a Bible student yesterday, she told me that one thing she loves about Jehovah's Witnesses is that there is no racial, economic or social barrier amongst us. It made my heart glad. Well, that's not true either. Listen, I was a Jehovah's Witness for 25 years. There was tons of economic differences. If your family was rich, you were not, the sons and the daughters were not going to have as much trouble, as much difficulty as the sons that were from poor families. It just was the way it was. Everybody knows it. It happened in all congregations. As far as race, race is not as big a thing as it was in the past with the Jehovah's Witnesses. But you can never forget and you can never forgive unless they beg your forgiveness, which they never have. The Jehovah's Witnesses used to say that the love between a Negro servant and his master is one of the purest loves ever. You know, deal with that, Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm not making that stuff up. The continuity too, says Maya Lincolns. You can go anywhere in the world and still be able to follow along with a Watchtower study or any study for that matter. No religious organization on earth has that. Who else but Jehovah can do this? What a God he is. Okay, let's parcel this out here from Maya. The continuity too. We can go anywhere in the world and still be able to follow along with a Watchtower study. Well, okay, continuity is a nice thing, okay? I like the fact that I can go to anywhere in the world and get a McDonald's, right? But it is not fine dining. <laughs> okay, it is not fine dining. I'm sorry. The fact that you're all the same doesn't mean that you're correct, okay? It really doesn't. No religious organization on earth can do that. I can pick a one immediately. Actually, I know I can think of a bunch. Uh, the Mormons are identical. The Scientologists are identical. Uh, they're hypocritical at the tops and completely different up there too. But basically your orgs will all be the similar. Uh, the, uh, so we've got the Mormons, we've got the Scientologists, the Christian scientists, there are lots of places too. Uh, Free Presbyterians are all over the Western world, shockingly, and uh, they're very similar. The, uh, oh, who else we got? Oh, who, let's not leave them out, the Catholic Church. Tell me there's much difference in the Catholic Church. Nah, not much difference at all. Oh, and somebody has just said Latter-day Saints is that way too. I'm getting some cheeky people on this. And apart from public talks on a Sunday, says Amanda Weekly, we are studying the same material, the same watchtower. Every Sunday we all teach the same thing. The same thing. Anything where you go in the world, nothing is different. We are all singing from the same book too. And it's a terrible one. And then Danielle Joy, who's very mean, has said, very succinct programming. How does it feel to be programmed? <laughs> Isn't it amazing, says Linda Blah. I nearly read that as Linda Bollock, but it's actually Linda Blalock. That 9 million witnesses all believe the same thing all over the world. Not really, because you get disfellowshipped if you don't. It'd be very amazing if they didn't believe things different. When I went to a church, no two people believed the same thing. That's good. That's why people exist. Some of them split and went to a different church. Once again, that's why there's loads of churches. They were good people and I love them. But I am so glad that I searched till I find the truth. I am so happy to be a Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah has given, has been so good to me, and I would never do anything to bring reproach on him. He loved us all so much that he gave his only begotten son so we could have everlasting life. Now that is true love. Side note, I'm just going to take a digression here for a second, okay? And I didn't really mention a lot about this year's memorial, but this woman here, Linda Blalock, has said this, okay? But Jesus given his only life, his only begotten son, or God given his only begotten son, Jesus sacrificing his life. I'm not blowing at all here, right? But I'm... Um, Three occasions in my life, I have risked my life to help other people. Right? One, I pulled a guy out of a fire with, along with my brother. I got on the front page of the paper for it. Whoa. Uh, on another occasion, I stopped a guy stabbing his girlfriend and nearly got stabbed in response. And on another occasion, I stopped a guy getting robbed uh, when they were kicking him in the head and ended up getting in quite a horrible fight with him. 
uh, along with another man, and we we saved him. My, and I'm not looking at any awards for that, and I didn't get any. Actually, I did. I got eight hundred pounds from Ulster Bus for saving saving their driver, but I'm not looking at any more rewards from that. But all I'm saying is, I don't expect you to worship me for two thousand years either. Just saying, okay. I'm just saying. I'm not entirely sure that giving your life is that huge a thing. I don't think so. I would have done it. You know, I'd do it for my kids tomorrow. I'd do it for my wife now. You'd do it. Most of you would do it without hesitation in the right circumstances. And so I don't, I don't understand what the big deal about it is. Answers on a postcard, please. Why you think it's a big deal, okay? Because uh, I think it's human nature. Just going to say that, okay? To me, it's a privilege to serve God. He gave us life and hope for the future, a paradise like the Garden of Eden that Adam and Eve lost because of their disobedience to Jehovah God. Jehovah God is so grumpy. He is the grumpiest God. Honestly. Yes, yes, it is a blessing to give honour, glory and praises. Absolutely, absolutely, wholeheartedly, this is what I get and expect from our org, publishing good word. <laughs> okay. My, this is the stuff. I'm going to finish this in 11 minutes. Good God, I need to go and get my son. My dad has a huge vintage collection of old books. We should study them all. I'm sure the information from the old days aligns with the new literature. Sounds fun. <laughs> and Paul Coomber, who's forever on this site, has said, I have a huge library too. When I compare the old publications with the new publications, I see evidence of an organization of people who are growing spiritually all the time. People who are not afraid of change, who are not so tied down to old understandings that they ignore the growing spiritual light as the other churches have done since their inception. Once again, total bullshit. Total bullshit, okay? That's why Martin Luther nailed his treatises on the church in Wittenberg. Because he wanted change, okay? And the, 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 there's been a reformation in the, in the Protestant churches, but also in the Catholic churches ever since then, okay? Ever since then. And the notion that Jehovah's Witnesses are seeing new light, they're not. You're seeing more control, less power to the congregations and more ability to disfellowship you and shun you and destroy your life. Dear me. And Danielle Joy, who I'm beginning to think is a bit of a plant, said, I read somewhere that this is called false prophecy, but we call it new light. It sounds so much better, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, dear me. Seems like lies with a fancy name to me. Whoever the prophet who presumes to speak in my name, a word that I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that prophet must die. I like this woman. Now, I think there's, there's more back and forth between this woman and Paul Coomber. It is mere evidence that scriptural prophecy is being fulfilled. We have always known from Russell's time until now that we should be changing our stance on certain beliefs as our understanding of God's word grows. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You, and you never apologised. For your terrible previous agree our points, I made that point before. You never apologise for your racism. You never apologise for your continued misogyny. At some point in the future, when women are elders, are you just going to say, "Oh, it's new light"? All you sisters in the past, screw you. No, you're gonna. No, you, that's exactly what you'll do. That's exactly what you'll do. It, it's despair. The Jehovah's Witnesses are an awful cult, and these videos have to continue. Not by me. They have to continue by you, by other people. We have to keep making them. We have to keep. Uh, throwing them out uh, to, on the off chance that a Jehovah's Witness will see them and they do see them I can tell you that I've been doing this about 8 months and in that time at least 4 people have contacted me of all people and said hey you're the reason I left shocking to me really is but it worked and I'm going to be so happy that it worked uh, happy and proud for the rest of my life uh, huge much better YouTubers than I John Cedars people like that uh, JW Struggle uh, who are doing so much more uh they're getting, people, they're getting that many calls a day, and uh, it's well worth it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Get your message out. Tell your friends. Tell people it's a cult, because it is. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.